Namaste. Namaste. Welcome to a different cooking show. We are going to take you to a journey of different parts of India, the state, the cities, and the different street foods right here in America. And how do we do it? With culinary art and food is going to be the main hero in this particular show. Now, I have today Ash here with us. Ash, thank you very much for inviting to our house. Thank you for having me here. Today. Tell me what are we doing today? We are going to make a very ethnic Indian dish. It's called Paneer Bhurji. I'm a North Indian. This is something that I grew up with. One of my favorite dish and very simple, easy recipe to cook. Great. So talking about North of India, we are going to the regions of Punjab because that's where I think Ash is from. And oh, by the way, there is a secret behind that. And Ash will tell us about all that, where she grew up and all that. Yeah. So you're going to listen to, uh, you're going to hear a lot of these ideas, a lot of different cuisine and a different kind of cooking today. Lash, let's start. Okay. This recipe calls for some butter. We start with the butter. Pan is really hot. That's good because we need hot pan to get the butter melted. And once the butter, do you smell it already? I do. Oh, I, do. I love the smell of butter. You can always use pure ghee or you can use the butter. Um, and I've heard that ghee is actually good for your health in quantities. That is correct. Right? So if you take minor quantities, it's always good. Awesome. Anything is good in uh, absolutely. small quantities. I agree with that. We're going to add cumin seeds to the butter now. And you'll start listening to some popping sounds. I love the, the flavor of the cumin when it yes. brings in Mixes the smoky flavor. With the, yes, yep. that is correct. And this recipe doesn't really call for a lot of spices. You okay. just need four or five basic ingredients and every Indian kitchen will probably have so that. So it's easy to cook for yes, everyone. Yes, for everybody and for kids everyone. love it too. Awesome. Then I'm adding onions to that. Okay. And I think you notice I am using red onions. I see that. Okay, it is because red onions, the flavor, the aroma, and the taste when you actually start eating, red onion is something that I absolutely love into a North Indian cooking. Really? Yes. So and tell me you this. will feel the difference. So tell me this, like when you were growing up, uh, maybe in Punjab, do they use red onions? Do yes. You get red onions that is all we use. Really? Okay. I grew up there. Um, I lived in Punjab for seven years of my life, and this is all I saw. And when I started using the white onions, when I started cooking myself, I noticed the difference, and that's when mm. I realized I have to cook with red onions. So listen, everybody, use red onions when you're doing Indian cooking. Yes. Um, then we will add tomatoes. Tomatoes. We've already chopped the onions and tomatoes. Ooh. That sizzle, that gets you started with all the Indian juices, the Indian flavors. And this is green chili. We're going to add just one chili because I always prepare keeping kids in mind. So you don't want to overpower the chili taste. And I think what you can do is you can actually tune in to your taste buds. Yes. How much chili that you want to add. That is correct. So if you want to add more, if you're only serving for adults who enjoy the spices, I always add two or three green chilies. Perfect. But because I'm cooking for... Keeping everybody in mind, especially mm -hmm. my children as well, it is just one green chili. Perfect, okay. perfect. And I see you have this masala box, oh, yes. which is very fancy. Okay, so this is something I got from India. Once I got married and I moved here, I saw my husband having a lot of different um, containers okay. for different things. And I grew up my, watching my mom having this and using this on a daily basis. And I absolutely love it because you have it all organized in one place. Great. Don't you, would you not like it this having it? This is awesome. It? I mean, I love, love the colors. Yes. So show us what you're going to do. Definitely. Okay, so as I said, this recipe, the prep time is about 10 minutes and the cooking time is about 10 minutes. Now we have our um, onion no, and tomatoes no, no. all saute. We're going to simmer it down a little bit because no. the flame is pretty high. And we're going to, so we have the paneer that we have already mashed mm -hmm. and it's ready to be put together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add my paneer and then we're going to add our spices to that. Okay. Actually, there are two options you can do with paneer bhurji. We can add this little bit spices to the masala, to the onion and tomato, and then add paneer, or you can add it all together. Wow, that looks good. As I said, I'm gonna add the paneer. Let me show how it looks like. Once your masala is ready, you will see Ooh. this is the consistency, and I you can it. probably smell it I too, right? It. I'm already hungry see, watching that's this. that's one thing about videos. You probably don't smell it. 
but this place is awesome right now. Right now, yes, we are so ready to eat this. Okay, so we're gonna add the paneer to our masala, to the gravy we just made. Now we're going to add some spices to this. The main spices, as I said earlier, this doesn't require a lot of spices. All mm -hmm. we need is turmeric to bring some color. So now I know that turmeric is an acquired taste, but oh, then yeah. of course you can you know, manage your turmeric the way, the amount that you want and the way you want it. That is correct. And same with the red chili peppers, um, red chili powder. You yep. can uh, add more, less, less. depending on yeah. the taste you want. We will be adding salt to this. Salt is something I always like to keep a little bit in the beginning because uh, you can always add later if you need more. Got it. And then one thing is garam masala. Ooh, I love the garam masala. Yes. So garam masala, I think you know the history of garam masala. Like well, why people like... Out. So garam masala, as I know, I was trying to read about it on the internet and I, I learned that garam masala actually, you know, helps with your metabolism okay. and also helps you lose weight. Okay. I don't know how much true it is. But it's on the internet, I'm going to believe it. <laughs> well, that might be true, I don't know. Um, it depends how you use, how much quantity you use right, again. Right. And But the main thing about garam masala is, why it's called garam masala is there are certain ingredients that are garam, means hot. Okay. And they're put together. Okay. So you take um, the full cloves, you take elaichi, which is cardamom. Cardamoms. You take bay leaves, you take right. uh, full green chilies, and right. you take coriander seeds and you... Um, first you roast them right. and then oh. you grind them. Nice. That's why you get all that flavoring and the right. smell of it. So essentially garam masala is all the spices that have invariably had heat in it and that's why it's called garam masala. Garam. Garam means hot. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Ooh, now you can see so all the colors that are coming together because right. of the turmeric and the tomato and onion. Mm -hmm. And the smell. Heavy. And we told you the whole cooking time is about less than 10 minutes. We're about 10 minutes now okay. and 10 minutes of prep time. Do you keep stirring this or do you yes, just Yes, you it have alone? to keep stirring okay. it because yeah. you want to make sure that um, the turmeric and the masalas are evenly mixed in the and whole vegetable. Well. Yes. And now we have our paneer bhurji ready oh, to garnish right. wow. the bhurji. We always add the cilantro leaves on top. And we'll just sprinkle all around. And actually, it's good when you're serving. Um, mm -hmm. This is one of the dish that you want to serve hot. Got it. And um, add the cilantro on the top, and the dish is again. ready. And it's always served hot. This wow. is one of the dish that you want to eat, and it's it already just looks made. magnificent. All the different colors, all the different spices, yes. the whole marriage of the spices in this paneer. It just looks amazing. Yes. And um, and it smells wow. I'm sure you're ready to try some. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I really, really appreciate Ash, you bringing us to your home and showing us this uh, recipe. I hope something easy and you can now you're going to try yourself. Absolutely. Right? And now we're going to plate it, of course, right? Definitely. But before we go, guys, come back for the next episode because we will take you to another part of India and another journey to the culinary art. That looks fantastic. Come on everyone, let's take a taste. Come on. Hey guys, this is ready. Yeah. Awesome. That is so cool. Here. Try some. Here It is fantastic, right? Like it, Tyler? Like it? Good, perfect. The right kind of spice, and I can feel the heat. <laughs> Comes. 
with the green chili, right, red chili. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hopefully not over farming. Oh, my God.